The Prince of Wales says he has missed giving family and friends a hug during the coronavirus lockdown, as he faces not seeing his father Prince Philip on his 99th birthday. Prince Charles has spoken out about the hardships of not seeing his shielding father the Duke of Edinburgh during lockdown. The Prince of Wales gave a strong message of support for key workers and those unable to hug their family members. Charles has been staying at his Scottish home of Burke Hall with the Duchess of Cornwall for many weeks. However, he has been keeping in touch with the outside world via video calls, and his family is no exception. In a recent video call interview by Sky News royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills, for the After the Pandemic series, Charles was asked about being apart from his family. But fortunately, at least you can speak to them on telephones and occasionally do this sort of thing. But it isn't the same as it. You really want to give people a hug. The heir to the throne also commented about his father, saying, Well I haven't seen my father for a long time. He's going to be 99 next week, so yes, or my grandchildren or anything. I've been doing the FaceTime, is all very well but. Philip has been staying at Windsor Castle with the Queen since March and is shielding with a small group of household staff. The Duke retired from royal public duties three years ago and is thought to have spent much of his time at the Queen's private estate of Sandringham in Norfolk. Prince Charles went on to sympathize with others who have been apart from their family for so long, especially those who could not see their loved ones in their final days. Charles said he feels ghastly for those who couldn't be with their loved ones as they died of coronavirus. He said, I was lucky in my case and got away with it quite lightly. But I've had it, and I can so understand what other people have gone through. He went on to show his compassion for those who could not be with their loved ones in their final days. Prince Charles added, I feel particularly for those who have lost their loved ones and have been unable to be with them at the time. That to me is the most ghastly thing. He added, but in order to prevent this happening to so many more people, I'm so determined to find a way out of this. Prince Charles was diagnosed as having COVID-19 following a test on the NHS in Aberdeenshire in March of this year. Fortunately, he only suffered what were described as mild symptoms and carried on working throughout. Royal sources said the prince was in good health throughout his illness and his self-isolation lasted seven days. Despite his symptoms only being mild, Prince Charles revealed that it has helped him empathize with others throughout the pandemic. He explained, I can't tell you how much I sympathize with the way that everyone has had to endure with this unbelievably testing and challenging time. I know that so many people have had the agony of losing their loved ones and the bewilderment and anxiety that surrounds everything. It is the most awful aspect of a pandemic like this, and yet we've seen at the same time people being quite remarkable and wonderful people in the National Health Service and all the other key workers who kept everything going. Thank you.